My name is Agape Shwana, your very own favorite Zambian drama. Born and bred in Lusaka, right in the heart of Mutendere. Allow me to take you through a journey of how I created my first ever album. This one I know for sure you're going to like. Ish, I started playing drums in 2014. I think that's almost a decade by now. So I come from a musical background. My mom, I used to sing in the choir. And my older brother used to play drums when he was very young, then later transitioned into uh, keyboard, guitar, and then he found his calling on the bass. So I used to tag along, you know, when I was young at the choir, you know, watching my brother play, watching my mom sing, not knowing that actually started activating something in me. Then later over the years, uh, uh, my friend was rehearsing, you know, I was like, ah, no, can you play this beat? I was like, ah, yeah, let me try. Then I tried it. And that's how I just started. I would say drums chose me. I didn't choose drums. I think drums chose me. My number one inspiration has always been my brother i loved how i love how he carries himself in the music industry how much he's passionate about music i think i also inherited that like the love the passion and always wanting to be you know zambia's finest drama i think that's what has like kept me going at the end of the day the love the passion and always wanting to put Zambia on the map at the end of the day. Uh, it's a lot of things and a lot of people, I must say. Uh, obviously, the number one reason is definitely practice. Uh, for me, practice, uh, the way I approach practice is you have to do both listening and the actual work. For me, growing up, I haven't really had access to my personal drum set. So I've personally done a lot of listening, different genres, different artists, you know. Yeah, just to have a mixture and a diverse sound at the end of the day. Uh, we're talking about people that have helped me. I would definitely say uh, Kennedy Shwana, who's my older brother who introduced me to the greatest uh, bass player in Zambia, uh, David Kasochi, Uncle D, who later on like gave me a foundation, like showed me a clear picture of how music is supposed to be played. Of course, for him, he's strong uh, on jazz, right? So jazz, you know, then later introduced me to a little bit of Afro here and there. And then from there, I took it up and, you know, just carried on that same, you know, motion and kept on going with it. And here I am now. <laughs> we can't take away practice, you know, you, you can't. Uh, back in the days I used to do, I think, roughly uh, approximately two hours in a day practice but obviously listening would take a lot of hours i would spend uh, i do a lot of walking i've always done a lot of walking so in my free time i'll definitely if i see an album that is like interesting i'll definitely take a walk and listen to it from a to z so I think that also helped me uh, become the Agape Shwana you see today. Practice, you know, listening to different genres for you to have a diverse sound at the end of the day. I think that's what makes me unique. I've always had a certain sound 
in my head. Like I always hear different sounds, right? So for this one, it it's uh, I was listening to one of uh, let's say the greats, let's say Pique Chishala for a start. Yeah, listening to how his creativity on the guitars, you know, his unique voice. And then one day I, f I thought to myself, I'm like, how would, if Pickett Shala was alive right now, how would he play? How would he sound in, in the modern day, times, right? And then, you know, from there, I started getting on inspiration, digging deep, trying to understand how our our music you know was composed you know where where they draw the info of their inspirations from and then from there i started you know putting on ideas obviously with the help of of my good friends putting on ideas oh yes let's let's try this let's try this let's try this shona to the world is basically experiments of how uh, Zambian music is supposed to sound right now. For example, uh, on the album, there's a, there's a song titled Kumawa, right? So that's modern day Chipata disco for me. Like this, that's how I picture or hear Chipata disco and that's how it's supposed to play, to be played right now. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, I've worked with my very good friends. Uh, let me start with uh, the keyboard player. Keyboard player was Manasseh Piri, uh, Zambia's finest keyboard players, one of my favorites. On guitars, I had Mr. Chunks and Celestine Mapulanga. They are, they are my, my favorite guitarists, my all time favorite guitarists. On bass, I had Obviously, my elder brother, Kennedy Shwana. You know, I, can, I couldn't do an album without him at the end of the day. Last but not the least, I had Mr. Chiwata, Caleb. You know, yeah, it's always a pleasure working with this uh, gentleman. Zambia's finest musician. If you want a unique sound, if you want something that's, you know, uh, diverse, definitely, these are the right people to work with. Going forward, uh, definitely a lot is coming. Uh, I'm currently working on my on my second album right now, uh, so look out for that. Also shows, you know, Shona to the World concerts, music videos. You know, it's gonna be an exciting year. I'm also excited about it and what you know is gonna happen. Definitely have to be glued on the page, you know, everywhere. Look out for Mr. Schwana because he's about to blow your mind. My music is available on all digital platforms. Apple Music, Spotify, Deezer, you know, Boomplay, you know, name it, you know. If you are a lover of Zambian authentic music, I'm gonna put the link in the comment section. Comment section, you know, so that you can go and listen to it and give me a review. Uh, you can also follow me on my Facebook page, Agape Shwana, on Instagram, Agape underscore drums, on YouTube, Agape Shwana Official. You know, let's get interacting. Let's, let's have fun. I just want to take this time to say thank you so much for the love that you guys have shown the project, Shwana to the World. It's, it's very much overwhelming. I never anticipated this love so far. You know, with that being said, uh, look out for more stuff that are coming your way from the Shwana world, obviously. This has been your boy Agape Shwana, signing out. See you on the next one.